Hello! Today I decided I was going to take a look back to Neverwinter uh, a year and two months ago and then behind that. Because I really miss Mod 15. Let's be honest, we all miss it in some way or another. I had a few old videos from Mod 15 and I was just watching them and my only thought was, man, I really miss this. Like genuinely, I miss the combat of Mod 15. And I think that's something that a lot of people can agree with and empathize with. Empathize? I don't know if that's the right word. But I was feeling nostalgic today, so I thought that's what I would talk about. Mod 15 combat was so, like, uh, interactive. You were always doing something. And even if you didn't know what you were doing, you were still doing something and you felt like you were doing something because you were always doing something. That probably didn't make any sense, but you the cooldowns were very reasonable everything you did did something even if it might not have been the best thing to do it was still having an effect and that's what people want to see there were big numbers people like big numbers tanks were tanky as all tankness especially paladin and barbarian did a lot of damage which at the time everyone was complaining about because Barbarian is like the one godly holy DPS that if you're not a Barbarian we won't take you into this cradle run and if you gotta have... What, what was the requirement then? It wasn't uh, power based I don't think. I think it was just purely item level. Like if your item level is not 17k or higher, we're not taking you. At the time 17k was very good. And um, then it became 18k, and then after that, mod 16 happened, and and then mod 17 happened, and now mod 18 is coming, and you're going to be able to get like 28k item level, which is really high. Also, warlocks were pretty useful because they could buff and stuff, and fighters had really, really good DPS. Just a lot of things were good, and the powers and stuff, they all were really effective. There was lots of buffing, lots of secondary effects and a lot more complexity as well. Complexity is something that I've talked about a lot and it's something that disappeared from Neverwinter entirely. Um, one idea I had was to actually try to make a bad build and then do like LOM with it and see if I notice any difference whatsoever. So I might do that soon. And really, the only re the only way you can really make a bad build now is if you choose feats for the powers that you're not using. In most cases, that's really all you can do to try to be bad or not not use like powers with the highest damage or something. Ah. Anyway, let's. I'll just talk about complexity first, and then go on to what I was gonna say. But as far as complexity goes, the first part of that went out the window when the refinement changes happened in like 2017, I think. Maybe it was 2016. 2016 or 2017, I don't really remember, but in that, before that there was this complexity to refinement because at the time there were three different types of artifacts. You had the artifact of stability, artifact of union, and artifact of power. And there were specific refinement stones that were more effective if you matched them with the same type of artifact. So you had, uh, what were they called? It was like lesser, there was lesser resonance stones, which I think resonance was for enchantments. There was a stone that started with a T, uh, lesser stability stone. Was that a thing? You know, I, I really don't remember anymore, but anyways. You had all these different stones that were more effective towards different things. Uh, you didn't have an actual pool of refinement points though. There, there were some changes that I did really like to the refinement system, but the removal of the complexity of it is not one of them. Also, you know, hoarding everything for double refinement points was fun and an added thing to do in the game to work towards, but now then the double refinement points event just, you know, disappeared, so that was pointless. I remember having an entire bank filled with refinement points. You know, I might have a screenshot of that. If I do, you can see it now. I have maybe a screenshot of my old bank, but I don't remember if I have it. Anyway, back to complexity. This video is just kind of like me talking. I mean, technically all my videos are me talking. 
but this one's more me talking than the others. So after the refinement complexity went out the window, next up we had mod 16. I feel like there's probably something else in between those that I'm forgetting, but mod 16 came along and all of the feet choices were reduced to five. Well, 10 and then five ones that you pick. And that was huge because on one hand, you can look at it and say, well, all the options that you had before were not really that good. They were mostly just fillers and just random stuff that wasn't good. And then you had like a handful of feats that were actually good that pretty much everybody took. So in reality, you condense it down and it's really the same number of feats. I mean, yes, mostly, but also no, because the feats that it was replaced with are not nearly as impactful as the old ones. Same with a lot of encounter powers being reduced, you know, like they give less bonuses to the party or no bonuses at all in the case of Circle of Power for Paladin, which is like, I, ah, there's so much I miss. I miss the bigger circles for the Circle of Power for Hollowed Ground. I miss the glowy effect on Divine Glow. I miss having, being able to spam Anointed Army and give constant CC immunity. I miss being able to use console commands to bind exaltation to a key so that I can have it target one person specifically. I miss having three charges of Bane and being able to keep those on the enemies all the time and specifically bosses. I miss having Sanctuary as a paladin and, and using Divine Call and lowering all my cooldowns. I remember being super excited whenever they added that you could use Divine Call while holding shift while using your sanctuary and that was just like mind-blowing to me and now it's pointless i miss spamming shield of faith as a paladin even though i didn't do it very well i didn't focus on action point gain at the time i miss being able to focus on action point gain and, and getting action points very quickly and it made you feel like you were accomplishing something i think that's the biggest thing but most of all i really just miss how fast paced the combat was and how you really had to pay attention, but in a different kind of way. Like now you don't really have to pay attention. You didn't really have to pay attention then either, but you had to know your rotation. You had a rotation and you could, it was it was constant. It was like you, you, it's like a circle. There was no gaps where you just used at wills intermittently and hope that something dies until your encounters come off cooldown. You could always tell what buffs were active on you because everything was displayed in the buff bar and not only stuff that the game deemed important which now a lot of times i'm looking for something and it's not there i have to click to see if my feed is working and by the time i get up there to click it the effect is worn off so i'm like well i hope it's working this is not all the time but i also really miss being able to move as fast as sonic around the map because walking slow sucks that's like a pet peeve of mine in games in general. If I walk at a speed that is not good, <laughs> if I walk at a speed that will not get me to where I need to go in a reasonable time, I'm gonna get annoyed. Pretty much, the majority of movement speed bonuses being removed in mod 16 meant that everyone was moving at a speed that makes it more annoying to get from one place to another. Honestly, I think adding movement speed back as an option for utility slots would be a good decision at this point because that gives you more of a choice when it comes to what are you going to do because now you have incoming healing that's going to be pretty important, especially with the new boots, I think they're boots, in mod 18 that give you minus 50% incoming healing. You're going to need to negate as much of that as possible with incoming healing. And then your other option being companion influence for those utility slots. Do you need more stats? Do you need incoming healing? Or do you want to move fast? Having three options there is a lot more choice and adds a little bit more complexity back in, which is something that is needed. Like, we need that complexity back because there's not nearly as much need for guides and just information in general. Is there still a need for it? Yes, there are people who look for guides every day. There are people who ask me, when am I going to post a guide? But it's not as necessary as before because there's less to guide about. Like there's, there's just less stuff in general that needs to be explained 
just because there's not as much to pay attention to. Now there are some changes that I do like that came with the class changes of mod 16, but there are just changes in general that I liked. But overall, I miss mod 15. Like, just looking, I know I said this at the beginning of the video, but just look at the combat. It just looks so much better and it looks so much more fun than what we currently have. Like, I miss being able to be an immortal paladin with millions of temporary hit points. Yes, obviously that's overpowered, but it was fun. I miss listening to guardian fighters yell at each other about who has higher DPS. It was annoying, but they were having fun doing their DPS. The one big thing that I did like about Mod 16 is the healing. That healing became actual, some actually something, you know, important and needed. Because healing wasn't really a thing. The biggest thing that I miss is Divine Glow. It doesn't heal anymore. It doesn't do anything and it was like the all-encompassing power of the gods and you were a god as a cleric so it made sense that it would do stuff and just, man. I also miss the old way of empowering powers on Cleric. Having to use divinity encounters three times to get three stacks of empowerment and then you could use an encounter power to have bonus effects. Like, if you ran a cradle back then, you just have both clerics spamming divine go like, poaching, 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 and that's all you heard. <laughs> and then you would hear like, of the Forge Master's Flame or the shattering sound of Break the Spirit, and then you'd know, hey, I can start doing damage now as a DPS. I'm trying to think of what I really miss the most about, like, class-wise. Which class do I miss the most of pre-Mod 16? It, I really think it's Paladin. Even though Cleric was my main thing, I moved on, I did Paladin for a while, and I grew to love it so much. It was so much fun, and it's really not the same anymore as why I don't play Paladin Tank anymore. I do healer because healers are- I feel more useful. And now, I, I figure you're probably asking at this point, well, why are you even making this video? And to be honest with you, I don't really have a reason. I know nothing is gonna change because at this point, it's too late. I made an analogy to myself earlier that is terrible. Like, awful, but it makes sense. So basically I said, it's like, imagine if you had a dumpster fire, but then you still needed to use something that you threw in that dumpster, you put it in there on accident, but you need it back. But there's a dumpster fire. So you wait till the dumpster fire is over, and then you try to pick through the remains of what's left in the dumpster and try to work with what you have. And that's basically mod 17 and 18. After I said that, I was like, oh no, that's terrible. I can't say that in a video. And then I decided to just do it anyway. This is like kind of a rant video, but also kind of not because it's not really ranty. It's just more nostalgia based than anything. But I really want to play mod 15 again. I really had so much more fun then. Do I have fun now? Yeah, but it's just it was so much better before. And I think that is something that everyone can agree with unless you are a new player who didn't play before then. Actually, I'm curious. Is there anyone who played Mod 15 before who actually prefers Mod 16 and forward to that? Just genuine curiosity, is there anyone who actually likes Mod 16 Plus better? And I don't mean like you like the way this is now, I mean like in general encompassing the entire mod you like everything or the majority of things better in their newer form. The funny thing, I'm looking at a video that I recorded in Mod 15, of Mod 15, and in the Q chat I said I miss Mod 15 combat and it hadn't even left yet. Mod 16 wasn't even out yet, and I was already saying I missed Mod 15. Uh, anyways, thank you for listening to my little bit of a half rant, half just me talking video thing. Let me know in the comments what you missed the most about Mod 15. I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit of the past in this video. I hope this video is not too long. I feel like it's going to be like 13 minutes. I like to guess how long it's going to be from the point I record it to the point it's edited down to see if I get anywhere close. I was actually right the last time and I was so pleased with myself. Thank you for watching or listening or whatever. 
I hope this week hasn't been too terrible for all of you, considering it's the first full week after New Year's and this week just sucks in general. But yes, I have a special video that will be coming out uh, maybe at the end of the week, maybe early next week. I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to tell what it is yet because this is a prize. I'll just tell you that it's really dumb and then you can make your guesses from there. All right, I'm going to leave now. But I have two very important words for you before I leave. Okay, bye.